Well, for those of you that were fans of podcast number 20, podcast number 21 is very similar. So we're going to be finding two solutions. But with this one, there's one extra thing, and that is my calculator does not have secant inverse. So I need to use the trig identity that secant equals 1 divided by cosine. And then I'm going to take the 4.1 and just rewrite it as 4.1 divided by 1. Then invert this side so it becomes cosine over 1. If you invert one side, you have to invert the other side, so the right side will become 1 over 4.1. And the left side becomes cosine of theta over 1, or in other words, just cosine of theta. Next up, you guessed it, use cosine inverse. So how much is cosine inverse of 1 divided by 4.1? Make sure the calculator's in degrees. So the answer is 75.883 degrees. And that is between 0 and 360, so that looks like it's a keeper. Now, what about the other answer? A smart trig class. This line right here says cosine equals a positive. So that happens right here in the fourth quadrant, and it happens right here, oops, meant to circle it, in the first quadrant. This one is in the first quadrant, so this part is already done. Then what about this fourth quadrant? So you could draw the angle in the fourth quadrant, and then this would be 75.883 degrees, but going in this direction. So basically, this angle right here is 75.883 degrees, and then take that line and just flip it over so that it's in the fourth quadrant and it looks like that. And for the last part, to find out what angle that is, start on the x-axis, go around almost a whole circle until you get to right there. So the whole circle would be 360, but if you just subtract off this part, then you'll get the red angle. So how much is 360 minus the 75.883? 240, whoops, I mean 84.117 degrees.